Mike Young here, store manager of Bizarre Guitar Rio, Nevada. And today, I am bringing you some drum accessories from Roland. Um, this is the stuff, I believe it came out at NAMM. Uh, just kind of getting around to it, I've been, I've been having a chance to work through it and check out the value thereof. I initially liked the design, brought them in for the store, and it's been, do and it's been doing good. And, and so I just wanted to feature that in one of the videos. This is the BT-1 from Roland. This is the bar trigger pad. Now this guy has a couple different mounting options. Inside you can see here and here. These are two um, inserts that you can use on the particular, oh, got an itch, sorry. These two things right here allow you to either mount a la L-Rod from a stand so you can hang it off a cymbal stand or whatever else or through a T-Rod. And I'm just, there's an illustration on the back. Maybe we can zoom in on this. Etic, do you see that? Okay, we're zooming. I'm just doing this on the fly. I'm getting way too comfortable with this. Okay, right here. So you can actually mount it to the rim and have it right on the edge of the drum, which is cool, especially for, again, going back to some of the, the, the newer metal and hardcore and things like that, being able to trigger like 808s, uh, backing tracks. This is discreet. Right off the drum, you don't have to worry about packing it. It could even fit inside of a case, which is awesome. You don't have to worry about tagging along with a bag with a bunch of extra stuff with it. This is this is a fantastic little thing. Um, these guys roll in, and I'm, I don't typically talk price, but about a hundred bucks, which is better than trying to get a giant round pad or from. You know, and especially higher quality, I've noticed with some of the Simmons pads and things like that, like the quality and the triggering surface on this thing is fantastic. And I actually have one out of the package. I'm gonna go ahead and grab real quick. Um, but yeah, so the balance line input right here. Rubber, it's very stiff. It's got good velocity sensitivity. Um, I had no misfires when I had it on a kit. Uh, beating on a cymbal and things like that. But again, there's a lot of that that could be adjusted sensitivity wise. On the inside here is part of the mounting system. You have like a, like a gasket inside with a, with a drum screw that kind of floats back and forth. I found this to be kind of a little bit of a pain, but wasn't that bad. And actually really securely mounted everything correctly. This one's set up with the, uh, the mount for the L rod. But yeah, this was awesome. If you have a, a, a brain or whatever else and you're triggering 808s and things, this thing I think is a must. It's sleek, it's out of the way, um, good isolation, feels good to play on. Definitely worth um, something that's under 100 bucks. So, and of course comes with a, a balanced cable as well as the mounts and stuff like that. And this is something we carry here at Bizarre Guitar. So get at me.